Hinich is going to be a really strong character in Genshin Impact and he's going to be releasing in 5.0 Phase 2 and I'm very excited for his arrival in Genshin Impact. Now the reason why he is going to be strong is a few. Now the first thing I can think of is he is a Dendro character. Dendro characters in general have always been notoriously really powerful no matter what kind of Dendro character you are you're pretty good and your dendro re you know reactions is what makes you really powerful as well any dendro character have been pretty good so far and i mean we don't we don't have to talk about Koli too much here but she's she's still pretty good even then even then now i do think that because he is going to be a single target dendro character he's going to be even stronger the only single target character that comes to mind right now for me is Yoimiya. And Yoimiya is pretty powerful, especially because of Vaporize. And she's just really, really strong. But with single target, which means you can hit a lot on a single target, right? That means that his application might potentially be slower. Now, uh, what I've seen from the live stream and how he works, I think you're going to be a okay, especially if you have another Dendro character within the team anyway. So I don't think you have to worry too much about his Dendro application. Now, since he is going to be a single target and he's going to be Dendro, I do think he's going to be strong because he's going to you know, have Aggravate, he's going to have Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon, Burning, and we're going to be talking about the last two much more in a bit. But I do think because he has all of these reactions, all of these fantastic reactions, he's going to be unconditionally good. Okay, he's going to be good. Now, I do think that his elemental skill, you know, the little grappling hook thing and a little damage alongside it is going to be his main shtick. It's, you know, especially since they've, that's what they've shown mostly. And his elemental skill is what allows him to do what Mualani does, you know, with the Knights of Blessings and stuff like that. So it's definitely going to be his main thing. Now, in the live stream, they also mentioned a cannon damage at the end of his elemental skill. And that is where I think most of his damage is going to reside. So I think if we are going to be building him, this is where most of his damage is going to be. So you're going to have to do a lot of uh, damage from this and of course his normal attacks is going to be really important because the normal attacks and the elemental skill sort of go you know together now for his burst his burst is going to be agile and agile becomes a mighty dragon and then the dragon deals dragon breath um this is really good too it does Zendro, it does damage, it, it's, it's like a Ganyu burst or something like that, or Ayato burst. Just deal damage over time, which is going to be pretty nice. Now, I know for a fact that both of these, the Amato skill as well as the Amato burst, are going to have the Night Soul mechanic integrated within them. And because of that, that is why I think Kinesh is going to be very, very strong. Since Night Soul is a massive part of Mualani's kit as well, that's going to be a Natlin thing with the Night Soul Blessings and stuff like that. Now that is why I think he's going to be really strong too. Because the more Night Soul he's probably going to need or have, the more damage he's going to do. And vice versa, obviously. Now the thing with Mualani is that her Night Soul points is, you know, all on her elemental skill and stuff like that. But also her burst increases damage because of it. Now I think we're going to have the same thing with Kinich. But instead of, of hey, the Night Soul Blessing is just going to do more damage, I feel like for his burst, the opposite is going to be true. So because the burst is there, the Night Soul is going to be accumulated because of it. That's what I think. But of course, this is just speculation. I don't know for sure. But from what I've seen within the live stream, what they talked about this is what I think. Now, I do know a little bit of something okay since we saw in the live stream that kinich is alongside emily i made this in the past already i already talked about it a little bit i think since they showed us that i think that's going to be the mighty team of kinich right it's going to be a really strong team and for those of you who don't have emily my condolences you're going to have to wait for the rerun <laughs> just saying of course you don't have to use emily for you know kinich to be good but if you do have Emily, this is really, really good news because I saw in the live stream 
since Emily is there and we have pyro characters, I think Kinnich is going to have some sort of pyro application to his kit, especially since this is the Natlan region. And I'm assuming Mavuika is going to be like a support type of character. And if that's the case, then Kinnich is going to be eating very well because he's going to have something in his kit to do with burning or pyro in general or burden, right? So I definitely think that's going to be a massive part of this kit and it's going to help him with some sort of um, Night's Old Blessing or some sort of extra damage or, you know, attack percentage or something like that. And that is where I think his value is going to lie. And of course, there's a lot more stuff probably with Constellation and stuff like that where he becomes better and better. But I definitely think Elemental Skill is going to be where it's at. The Burst is going to help the Elemental Skill. And then his passives are going to, you know, just go absolutely crazy with the Night Soul Blessing stuff. Now, his teams are going to be pretty pyro focused, I think. But of course, if you want to do blue and virgin, you're going to need a Hydra character as well. Which means that your teams are going to be pretty strong as well. So, why don't we think a little bit of like Al Haytham teams? But instead of Al Haytham doing AoE damage, we're going to see Kinnish doing single target damage, which means you're probably going to need another Dendro character within the team. And then, hey, what's up, Emily? That's why she's there. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If I'm completely wrong, let me know. If I'm uh, kind of close, also let me know. But I'm, I'm just going to say this from here. No leaks. I'm not leaking anything. This is all speculation. I don't know anything just yet. Just from what I saw uh, or what I've seen in the live stream. Yeah, it's going to be it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. See you guys next one. Bye. -bye.